Now here's a sensitive subject, masculinity, and this is something that I want to do another commentary on. I hold the belief that masculinity is just fine. The problem is when people try to overcompensate for it. Okay, you know, see there's the hyper-masculine guys who are always doing this, constantly violent, uh, groping women you know, without their consent, doing all that kind of, of nastiness. That is a product of someone who is uncomfortable with their masculinity and they feel that they need to defend it or reinforce it in some way because of some kind of perceived weakness or flaw within their masculinity. I think that's a fair assessment to make. However, I also feel that the SJW logic of all white men being evil or that I don't like hypermasculinity for now, now I'm genderqueer all of a sudden is also a reflection of the same thing. There are flaws within masculinity, like hyper-aggressiveness, uh, uh, and there is a lot of manifestations of inappropriate behavior towards women. And that makes other people feel uncomfortable with their masculinity. So they end up taking this identity of, well, I'm a very feminine man, or I have different conceptions of gender, and I hate the evil white men, etc., I'm not referring to trans people. I'm not referring to um, any kind of marginalized group. I'm talking about the people that are just overtly anti-white male. And then they, they being specifically white men themselves. It's one thing for women to be upset, but it's another for a man to go around pushing the anti-white male line. It, it's usually anti-male, but it's male in general. They're displaying the same kind of discomfort with their masculinity that the hyper-masculine guy is. They don't like certain aspects of it that are reactionary, and there are reactionary aspects of it. But what they're doing is they're taking it to an extreme on the other end that this other extreme is. Now, I'm not pushing that horseshoe theory bullshit because I don't believe in that. I think this is not a manifestation of some kind of horseshoe, but a manifestation of people who are uncomfortable with their masculinity, that they either have to overcompensate or in a way undercompensate. I think I think that's the real thing here. Oh, I cannot do these masculine things ever because it's something that the evil men do. Or I must always do these hyper masculine things or people will think I'm gay or effeminate. Believe it or not, I think it's part of the same problem. Neither one of these sides is comfortable with their masculinity and are acting out as a result of it. Okay. I'm comfortable with my masculinity. I don't have to act in a hyper-masculine way chasing women all the time or constantly challenging people to a fight or any kind of that toxic nonsense that can be a product of hyper-masculinity. I don't feel a need to do that. But I also don't feel a need to go around saying, oh, well, you know, I, I'm the anti-male type. I'm, uh, I'm forcing myself to act in an effeminate way in order to try to undercompensate for that kind of thing. I mean, I'm not, I've never come off that way, ever. The fact is, I'm comfortable with my own masculinity. I know what this masculinity is. Here's the reactionary part. I don't want any part of that. I'm not going to behave that way. But I'm not uncomfortable with myself as a result of it. I don't feel that the feminine aspects of my character are something that I have to overcompensate for. And I don't feel that the masculine aspects of myself are something that I have to, as I said, in a way, undercompensate for. I'm comfortable with who I am. So I think these hyper-masculine you know, guys who are borderline psychos are overcompensating for something. And so are the people who are really uncomfortable with the hyper-masculine aspects that push themselves into the whole gender warrior thing for something that's that's not even necessary. Now, I'm not saying you can't have aspects to yourself and, and be gender queer. I think that's part of the problem, is that they feel that a man can only act this way, so they have to overdo it. A man can only act this way, so they underdo it. So I think they're both perpetuating the same problem. The fact is, what is and what is not a man, what is, what is not a woman, in terms of uh, behavior and gender in general is really quite flexible. There really is only just a person and these are the aspects of the person. The problem is both these people who claim to be against gender 
are overdoing it and the people who are defending gender are overdoing it. In the end, they both just end up confirming the same thing. They end up pushing the same line. This is what a man has to be. I really want to be it. This is what a man really has to be. I don't want anything to do with it. So you see, they both end up doing the exact same thing. And again, I'm not pushing some kind of horseshoe BS. I think this is a product of people who are uncomfortable with their masculinity. Hey, I understand that capitalist society can be alienating, and it can cause that kind of problem. It can cause somebody to be uncomfortable with their masculinity. Uh, regardless of which side you fall on, they both happen. But, I mean, people need to, quite frankly, in a way, get over themselves. You know, it's okay to be a man, but it is not okay to be a barbarian that goes around doing these hyper-masculine things that are destructive to society. But it is okay to be a man. You just, you don't have to overdo it. And you don't have to underdo it to try to prove some kind of point. Believe it or not, you're okay the way you are. And regardless of which side you're on, you don't need to change yourself. Just be happy with who you are and the kind of personality you have. If you don't feel like getting angry all the time, don't do it. If you have more emotions than a regular man would have, then by all means, do so. I think that's an aspect of my personality. I am particularly emotional. And I wholly admit that. So many people just, just learn to be comfortable with who you are and happy with who you are so that you don't really have to end up being one of these people on either side of the uncomfortable with themselves extreme. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.